Hi, EDU 210 students. We are now off and running. Thank you to all of you who posted in the discussion board area and for those of you who started conversations with one another. That was really great. I've noticed that we have a lot of students in class that have a lot in common. So know that you can go back to that intro discussion board area at any time and learn a little bit about each other so that when you are conversing in the discussion board in the future, you'll know at least a little bit about who you're talking to. I find that's really helpful. I'm in a doctorate program online at Grand Canyon and it's taken a little while but we've gotten to know each other pretty well now that we've been in a few classes together and it is really refreshing to know who's on the other end of the computer responding to your post. Um, a few reminders, we do have a meeting that is not required but that you are more than welcome to attend this coming Monday the 29th. Um, 5 to 5.30 on the Prescott campus. Please let me know today if you are going to be coming. This is a chance for you to ask any questions you might have, to get to know a few others in the class, and to get to meet me in person and know who I am, especially if you're on the Prescott campus. Then you'll, and you see me walking across campus, you can say, hey, you're my instructor. That's kind of refreshing to know because Sometimes I feel like I have students that don't know I'm their teacher and I don't know they're my students and it would be so nice to be able to like see you in the flesh. So if you can come, please try your best to make it. Also, the next set of assignments will be due Monday, September 5th um, by midnight. You'll see that there's a survey in there that's right underneath your introduction post in the discussion board. Some of you may have already completed that. It is a little wonky. It's set up like a quiz, and so it might say that if you put a three, <clears throat> it might say it's wrong, but just carry on, just move on. Put your honest answers. It asks you to rate your knowledge based on the learning outcomes of this class, and then you'll take the very same quiz at the end of the semester, and then I compare um, how you rated yourself in the beginning and the end to know if you have grown in the areas that I hope you grow. So it's more for me, it's informational for me. You don't get graded based on your answers, you just get graded for doing it. And it is five points extra credit at the beginning of the semester and at the end. So that's ten easy points for you in a you know five minute quick little survey that's set up like a quiz so that I can um, gauge myself and how this course is set up and make sure that it's meeting your needs. So please take the time to do that. That is in there for you. In addition to um, a quiz over learning outcomes one and three. So those most quizzes after this first two weeks will be set up specifically in chapters of your text. So you'll see a chapter five quiz, a chapter six quiz, and so forth. But this quiz is set up a little differently because I'm assessing two learning outcomes. Um, some of the material will come out of the text and a lot of it will come out of Canvas. So be sure you go through all of the material in Canvas before you try to take the test. And that is also the same in the future when there is a chapter five quiz. Some of the questions may come out of information in Canvas related to Chapter 5. So those quizzes aren't only from the text. Know that you can't just go in there and take them. You can, and you'll probably do all right, but if you want to um, make sure that you go through all of the material first, you'll have a better chance of getting 100% or an A or whatever your goal is. Um, in addition, I'm going to ask you this week, or rather these two weeks, by September 5th to choose what major project you intend to do, whether it be the service learning assignment or the research project. So really have that in the back of your mind. Take the time to go through all of the material in Canvas related to those two assignments and pick one. You'll be submitting them via a blog either way, so the blog is not optional, but the assignment is. I do that on purpose so that um, you know some of you who have different goals can better reach them by doing service learning or by doing a research project or vice versa. So I want to know what your intentions are by the end of these two weeks. Of course, if you change your mind in the next few weeks or the next month, it's not due until the end of this semester, so let me know. Um, but just so that I have an idea and that I know you're thinking about it and I can provide you feedback now rather than right before the due date. Sometimes I get proposals for research projects 
that really I know won't work because they're either too broad or um, too narrow. So now is the time for us to start having those conversations so that you're on the right track for the rest of the semester. And I hope that whatever you choose, this is mentioned in the information in Canvas, that it aligns with one of the topics that we talk about in this class and as such, as you go through the material or read the chapter for that content area, that it's helping you decide either how you can apply it to your service learning experience or how you can create a research project that fits with that cross-cultural area. So if you're doing a research project, know that it needs to be cross-cultural, meaning it involves two or more cultural aspects. So race and ethnicity can be one, and socioeconomic status can be one, and how those work together with regard to education. Or if you aren't going, if you're not taking this class, moving towards an education degree, if it's maybe in the healthcare field or something of that nature, then you can apply it to healthcare or in a healthcare setting. So that's why these assignments are both set up to be pretty broad so that they can best meet your personal needs and goals. All right, so now's the time to ask if you have any questions about that before we get started. Try to make it to the Monday meeting if you can. Let me know today if you can, if you're going to make it to Monday. And I look forward to meeting some of you there. If I don't meet you there, I'll be interacting with you in the discussion board area. And I really feel good about this semester. We're off to a great start. We have a really good mix of people in this class and um, some pretty confident online users. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be great, and we'll start trekking along and see how things go. I'll be checking back in with you every two weeks right after the due date. If you signed up for that Remind, um, I don't know if it's an app or a program or whatever, to get those texts that remind you when due dates are coming up, then you'll get that additional support so that nothing falls off of your radar. All it says is... Um, Remember, assignments are due. It doesn't tell you exactly what assignment, so be sure you're in Canvas on a regular basis. Don't overestimate how much you can digest in one sitting. This is two weeks worth of information, so be sure you're sitting down and giving yourself enough time to go through everything and really understanding everything before you go to take those quizzes or post in the discussion board area or whatever the assignment is. Um, Otherwise, I can't think of any news or updates I need to fill you in about right now, but I will be sending you emails periodically about things coming up on campus or other opportunities, and sometimes when I find something really great that applies to this class, I will share it out to you um, via email. So check those as well. All right, um, have a great weekend, and I will talk to all of you soon.